high events in 4-H and H. I'm going to shoot this quick video uh, so you can see this, but then again, I may upload it and let um, other people on the channel see it. So how to QSO this afternoon, people asking about logging and um, the mention of not being able to get 100% confirmation on contacts. And um, yeah, I mean, we had several of us in there and you, you can't generally expect that you're ever going to get 100% confirmation on your contacts. Um, probably you get closure by mailing a card and, and giving them an envelope with a stamp to mail it back to you. Uh, but, uh, you know, QRZ, Logbook of the World, there are always those who either don't participate or even if they do, they don't always confirm. But, uh, so I'm, but I'll show you my uh, modus operandi here. Um, I'm using uh, Ham Radio Deluxe uh, version 5.24 the older version, but I'm a huge fan of N3FJP's logging program, so I'm not necessarily endorsing Ham Radio Deluxe. Um, I do think it's a good program. Uh, it might be a little uh, complicated maybe for some people. Um, I, you know, I spent some time learning my way around, getting it set up the way I use it, and I don't, I still don't claim to know everything about it. Um, but, uh, you know, some, some software like this, and again, N3FJP, uh, they support their software so well that I also want to throw some kudos out to them, and I have used theirs as well. Um, so here's what I do. At the end of an operating session, um, I've got QRZ up over here on one of my, one of my tabs here. And um, so that you'll see, I'll just look up here and I'll see, okay, there's my last contact that I had... Um, loaded up to QRZ. So I've been logging using the Ham Radio Deluxe. So I just hit this little add button up here and I'll log a new contact. And then that adds them to the log. And if you've watched my channel much, you know that this, and I showed this in a recent video, this one here is the um, DX cluster that's constantly updating. This is my actual log. So I've had a number of contacts today and now I'm ready to, to uh, transfer them up to QRZ for the chance of getting confirmed. So let me slide this over. I've got my QRZ narrowed down a little bit, but you can see the gold star. So those are uh, confirmed contacts. So that e either means that the person on the other end that I talked to logged me in QRZ, which is definitely the case here, but it could also mean that I came along and checked these boxes to, and then I hit action and I asked for a confirmation, request confirmation. And, uh, but some people don't participate on QRZ, so even if you ask, you may not get a confirmation. These are automatic. That, mean, that tells me that this station, this station, um, and this station all logged me on QRZ as well. And so uh, that's, that's a really cool thing. So the ones that I'm about to add to that, maybe they'll get some confirmations as well. So, all right, so I'm, I'm going to look at what my last... Um, station was and then I'll look over here in my log and there's my newest and then I'll work my way down until I see the call sign of the last station that I had uploaded to um, QRZ and I can tell by the date that's two days ago so here's today I'm gonna hold my shift key and I'm gonna select and they highlight in blue and um, let me tap that over a little bit there all right now I'm going to right click and go to export ADIF and I have a uh, I'm gonna click the ellipses here the three little dots and it takes me out to my downloads folder in Windows and uh, yes this is Windows XP Pro y'all it's just used for ham radio and <laughs> I just haven't bothered to upgrade it um, I won't get into that here as to why but all right there's uh, these are some backups but here's the one I'm using for transfers HRD upload and then I'll just save over it. See, it wants to replace it, yes. And then I'll go ahead and, and continue with the export. Exported 13 entries, I'll hit okay and finish. Now I go over here to the QRZ page and uh, let, me, let me zoom in now so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so on QRZ I'm going to the settings option here and then I'll scroll down a little bit and there'll be an option here for import, import. Browse, so I'm gonna go pick that same file that I just 
saved into my downloads folder and I hit open. Import ADI file and continue. Turn the radio down, it's my tuning. All right, and then um, that's finished. So I'll just hit list to go back in there and verify. And indeed, these are the latest uh, QSOs that I've that I've had, uh, starting with this one here. So 13 QSOs today. So now I'll drag this bar over, and uh, well, it looks like one of them has already confirmed. Maybe two. Yeah, two have confirmed, right here. So. Uh, Let's see who that is. Uh, N4CME and W4... No, wait a minute. W4MUD. Yeah. N4CME and W4MUD. Um, fr my friend Vince and my friend Brian. Brian, thank you very much for jumping in today. Brian's one, of the, uh, uh, one of the viewers here on the channel. So that's how I do it. Now, the reason I like to do it that way is if QRZ is down or if the internet connection is down, I can still log over here in my logbook. And again, that could be N3FJP, um, what or Ham Radio Deluxe in this case, there's others. I can always log there because uh, the only thing that might need an internet connection for is when you, uh, when you put in somebody's call sign, you can tap QRZ and it'll go out there and, uh, well, I'll, I'll pick on uh, my friend Vance, N4CME. And uh, if I hit the QRZ button, it'll go out there and pull in his, his data. So if I don't have the connection to the internet at the time, then, you know, it just won't be able to do that. Doesn't matter because once I upload it to QRZ, it's going to get it added there anyway. Which brings me to the last part I wanted to explain. QRZ is essentially giving me not only uh, the confirmations I'm looking for, um, you know, if I'm looking for DXCC or worked all states, that kind of thing, but also it's serving as a cloud backup. So if something were to happen to my local log, I could actually then go to the settings on QRZ page. Let me move back over there so you can see it. So I clicked on settings and then I go back down here and instead of doing an import, I do an export. And that's going to save an ADIF file into that same downloads folder. You know, that's, it's going to remember the last folder that you used. And then I will do an import into QRZ here, which is a right-click function, right-click, import, and then ADIF. So between the two, I'm probably not going to lose my contacts. I've got the cloud backup as well as the ability to do the confirmation. And uh, I wish more and more people would do QRZ. Um, it seems like it's split, but especially between QRZ and LOTW. Um, so we don't, and then there are some people that do both. But uh, this one, I think, I find QRZ to be the uh, the most straightforward to use, and they they seem to maintain it very well. Again, not endorsing them, don't work for them, don't have any relationship with them, but. I like that I can be mobile or portable and I can actually, if I can get an internet connection, I can log a contact with my phone to QRZ. And by the way, in that case, that's I would then do an export from QRZ and then an import into Ham Radio Deluxe. So just wanted to kind of go over, that's my method to the logging. And, um, you know, and again, the question had come up about, you know, what do you do to get 100% logging? I just don't know that that's possible. Um, you know, but again, you probably have the best chance of, of if you really need some rare DX confirmed, probably the best thing to do if they if they're allowing it, check their QRZ page to see is to mail them a QSL card and a self-addressed stamped envelope with sufficient postage for them to just drop one in and send it back to you. Guaranteed when people send me a QSL card, if they put an envelope in there, that will hold a QSL card and has proper postage on it, they're going to get one back from me. And um, that's how I roll. But of course, the electronic confirmation uh, can be handy in order for us to, you know, you get these gold stars here and you reach DXCC that way. And that's, that's fine. Worked all states that way, worked all counties and all that is fine as well. All right. Hope you found this helpful and informative. 
Uh, thanks for watching, and this is uh, N4HNH saying 73. And thank you, Patreon supporters.